Today we're going to be looking at a location that barely anyone is talking about. A location that possibly has the highest amount of contraband in one single area in the game and also a free ship for you at the end. And not to mention a chance to get this sick looking katana. So take my strong hand as I guide you through Vulture's Roost. Now this location can be found on the planet Jaffa 4. This is in the Jaffa star system which can be found to the south of Cryax, to the left of Parima and to the right of Olympus. And before heading to the this location I do recommend that you stock up on ammo and aid because this place can get chaotic. I will also recommend that you have at least rank 3 in security. This isn't essential but it just means that you're going to be able to get everything from this location. When you land in this location you're going to be presented this epic looking base in the side of the hills. And as you continue to walk in this is where you're going to be facing the first bunch of enemies. There's going to be roughly around 3 or 4 and there's going to be 1 elite for you as well. In terms of loot around the starting area there's nothing substantial Substantial, but there are going to be a couple of boxes that are locked and here is going to be a first-hand account on how terrible I am at these locks now once you clear this area out you're going to be heading up these stairs and going to be faced with two paths one that wraps around the stairs and one that goes up further the path you're going to be taking is going up these stairs which is where you're going to be finding the second bunch of enemies there's going to be roughly around six in here and also a couple of elites too this is also going to be your first point of interest with the upstairs all clear we're going to be heading to the middle table to pick up the bunch of credits and digi sticks that are there but we're going to also head over to this bedside table and this is where you're going to be finding the cell key now this cell key is used to unlock the cell that is downstairs when you first entered the room and here you're going to be finding yourself your first set of contraband which is just an aurora and also some cred sticks but not only that there's a second point of interest when you walk up the stairs on the coffee table this is going to be a permanent point magazine and do keep in mind that this magazine is going to have a random allocation so you're not going to get exactly what i got as we carry on through again we're going to come to another split path you can choose to go either of these ways but i'll recommend you heading off to the left and I'd recommend that you make sure that all your weapons are reloaded and also that you have max health because there's a whole bunch of enemies in this room. Once this is all clear, you're going to be looking for a room that's directly behind the center bar. This is where you're going to be finding your next point of interest. Now this door is going to be a novice pick lock, so it's going to be easy enough done. But once you're inside, you're going to be finding a safe that has an advanced lock. And within this safe, you're going to be finding five door keys that are going to be used for our next little area. As you leave the room, we're going to be heading directly across to our next point of interest. This is where the five key cards are used. Now if you didn't get these key cards, there's only two rooms that you actually need to loot which are room two and room five here you're going to be finding a large amount of contraband with the chest in room two being an expert and the chest in room five being master now there are other chests in room five which are master and expert these are all going to be randomized loots though the contraband chests that i'm currently showing you are always going to be the same so it's purely up to you if you want to roll those dice in this location there's also the bathroom downstairs which you can head to. You're going to be finding two more cred sticks and also a bottle of Aurora in the last cubicle. Once you've cleared out all the space we're going to be heading upstairs right next to the bar. This is going to take us to our next area. And as soon as we enter the hallway we're going to be presented with two closed doors. These are our next point of interest. Through the right door we're going to be finding ourselves some more contraband. We're going to have one sitting on the table here and also about nine in the cache next to it. And through the door to the left we're going to be finding ourselves some stolen art and also a couple more bottles of aurora down the hallway you're also going to be coming up to a novice locked door behind here in the shelf you're going to be finding yourself a unique looking helmet even though the stats aren't good it still provides a unique look but other than that you can move on to the last area where you're going to be able to get yourself a free ship but prepare to put up a gunfight because there are a lot of enemies here as you enter this location prepare to get shot at from multiple angles I would suggest not to hit the left as I did and go to the right where you're going to be finding yourself a lot more cover. Entering this last zone is also going to be triggering the event of when the ship comes to land. This you're going to be able to steal. Now if you make your way to the back end room of the zone you're going to be finding the location's boss. This is where you have the chance of getting the sweet legendary katana. But I would suggest that you quick save before killing him just in case it doesn't drop. There is also a master weapons case here too which I'm still super convinced that these are a complete waste of time because I keep getting 
absolutely nothing from them. Let me know in the comments below how is your luck looking with these master containers because I sure as hell haven't been getting anything at all. Now for a frame of reference of the goodies that we got from this location. So number one we got a free ship called the Dagger. This has a value of 54,000 credits. And what's good about this ship is the fact that it's a class A, so anybody can take it, you don't need extra piloting skills. And when we take a look at the contraband that we've taken, we have 6 Aurora, 7 Harvested Organs, 14 Sentient AI Adapters, and 9 Stolen Artwork. Which all together is a value of over 300,000 credits, which is absolutely absurd. And there you have it, a free ship and a stupid amount of contraband that has an absurd amount of value. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and smack that like. Also, let me know down below your favorite places that you like to farm for loot. It'll be interesting to see if I know where they are. And until the next one, I hope you all have a fantastic day and remember... Don't do it!